Oh, whoa, okay. I, I don't think I'm strong enough to be able to take those things yet. The Wraith has sucked your life force right out of you. Should you return here in another life, you will be properly protected and strike quickly. Well, I cast the protection spell. Was that not enough? Ugh. Okay. So these are Wraith Barrows, they call that. So people who died out here in the forest, which, you know, most likely is kind of like me. Actually, probably if I healed myself, I might be able to take them. Let's give it another try. Especially if I didn't jump right in there like an idiot. So people that die out there, like, and they're greedy people. They, like, bury all their stuff with them or something. So there's always good stuff in these barrows. So let's, let's try this. Let's heal mine ass. And try it again. That feels good. Okay. Let's turn on my running. And get in there. Go, go, go. Aggressiveness, magic use, uh, defense, fuck it. Special attacks, up, go. Whoa, what the fuck is that? Uh, get up, sneaky feet. Get up, sneaky feet. Sneaky feet! Oh god, he's been knocked flat on his ass and there's nothing he can do about it. But look at the health on the wraith. The wraith is almost dead. Uh, great, all right, I bugged out. But I'm doing that again. I have no idea. I have never seen that before in my life. Did you guys see that? He turned into a fucking buzzsaw like Blob from, from the Clay Fighter. Okay, let's do that again because that was fucking amazing. Sneaky feet, I didn't know you had it in you. Alright, here we go. That um, casting the protection spell again. You can't. And in we go. Get in there, go, go, go. Okay, so aggressiveness up. Magic use up. Defense, fuck it. No. Special attack. Defense, down. Woo! Whoopa! 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 Look at me go! Yeah! Yeah! Woo! Down it goes! The wraith vanishes into nothingness, and the air slowly begins to regain some warmth. Wow! I didn't think I was even able to kill those things if I wasn't a paladin. Sneaky feet! You! Wow! Just wow! You turned yourself into a goddamn buzzsaw and kicked the wraith's ass! You deserve whatever's in here, buddy. The barrow contains treasure that the wraith collected while it was alive, or perhaps more recently from treasure seekers less fortunate than you. Woo! You find a suit of plate mail armor, wow. a pearl encrusted goblet, and 25 gold crowns. Amazing. God, fuck thievery, man. I just, I am loaded. Where's this plate mail armor? Oh, I guess it just counts as my treasure. Damn it. Well, I guess wearing it would be kind of lame because, you know, you're supposed to sneak around in light armor. Jewelry. Two quarks. Undoubtedly very valuable. Wow. Maybe I can fence that. That was, that was incredible. Whoa. All right. Let's keep looking around. Let's see if we can find some more wraiths to kill. Um, oh, wait. This, uh... Your protection spell has worn off. Oh. Well, that probably helped me out a little bit, too. Let's go see if I can do anything. Well, actually, no. Let's save here because I'd hate to wait, you know, go in there and it's like, Hey, guys, how you doing? And then they come out there and gnaw my balls off in wolf form. Or maybe this is not it. That's probably not it. All right. You know what? I'm going to go down here. This is what I want to see. Sneaky Feet is not just a thief. Sneaky Feet is all things. See, here I am trying to catty corner myself into doing things just the thievy way. And Sneaky Feet has transcended that. Sticky Feet will not be catty-cornered and, and, you know, hamstrung and handcuffed into your way of doing things. Nay, says Sneaky Feet. If Sneaky Feet wants to use fucking magic, he's going to use fucking magic. If Sneaky Feet just wants to walk into a gigantic circle and go back the way he came, he's going to walk into a gigantic circle and came back the way he came. And if Sneaky Feet wants to fight... What the fuck is that? A Chernovi? Oh, fuck. All right, I might be screwed, but let's pop another healing pill. How many do I have left? I have three. That field. All right, and then let's cast protection upon mine ass, and I can't. All right, so let's do what we normally do. Aggressiveness up. Whoa! Aggressiveness up. Magic use up. Defense down. Go. Get in there, sneaky feet. Look at him go! Jesus Christ, sneaky feet! You're a monster. Look at him go, like ducking under spells, throwing. Ooh, wow! Sneaky feet. 
If I would have known you could do... Where, where was this skill in the last three games? My god. Score. You find a few gold crowns and a number of copper kopecks. Score. Amazing. You finally managed to de-spell and defeat the Chernovi wizard. Wow. So... I have grown to the point where I can turn myself into a Sonic the Hedgehog like Buzzsaw, and yet my, I, I was picking locks of like the highest order in the, in the last game, and now I can't even break into an old man's house without getting busted. Something got lost in translation here, but hey, whatever. I lost like no health during that Chernovi fight. I am so proud of you, Sneaky Feet. Ah, uh, incredible. I wonder if the Lishi is around uh, at the dead of night. I don't even know where we are. Oh, shit. You feel a chill go through you as you enter this part of the forest. No, no, I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. Ow, ow. Oh, geez. All right. That one's mean. That one is fucking mean. All right. So let's rest up a second. After you're getting tired. You're getting tired from all this rusting. Yeah, I know. After. All right, let's pop another healing potion. After I save, and let's kick its ass. Yeah. I'm feeling. I, I feel cocky. Let's go. That feels good. All right, so let's cast the protection spell, and. You cast. Haul some ass. That. I can't. I can't get to my thing. All right. Let's hope this works. You feel Oh shit, I'm losing health. Go, 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 go. Get in there. Get in there. Go. Alright, aggressiveness up. Magic use up. Defense. Fuck it. Special attack. Buzzsaw time. Lock. Yeah, 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 come on, before I die. Yeah. The Wraith vanishes into nothingness. Now, there is no way I'd be able to do that in manual mode. No way whatsoever. So, yeah, it's cheating. But the fact that Sneaky Feet is better when he's out of my control and acting on his own free will and accord says more to Sneaky Feet, less to me. But now that he's been unleashed, unchained, if you will, Sneaky Feet can be the badass murder machine he's always wanted to be. Your protection spell. The barrow contains treasure. You find a diamond-studded brooch, a healing potion, and 15 gold crowns. Wow. Okay. That's in... That's, oh, Jesus Christ. I had no idea I was capable of such things. And this is making, you know, uh, the forest a little bit safer to walk through uh, in the middle of the night. Uh, especially when I'm just kind of... Uh, God, I'm not wandering anywhere in particular... I think there'd be more stuff to do. What time is it? It is... It's midnight. Let's take a quick rest. After... And let's keep looking. I don't think I can take any more Wraith fights at the moment, but... There must be something else to do. Some other good things I can do. Because you know what? Sneaky Feet, while he is transcending, he's a good guy. He is a good guy. He'll help out anybody he comes across. Mostly because, you know, they, they, they're going to owe him a favor at that point. So, you know, you be good to others, and they'll be good to you, you know? I'm not sure how the result is going to occur over this, but I'm going to help her anyway, just because she's fucking stacked. As, oh, God, a zombie. The zombie has awesome music. Listen, listen, listen to the music. Oh, you can't. All right, aggressiveness up, magic use up, defense down. Get in there. There's nothing that has a chance against me. I have an infinite number of, of fucking uh, knives and magic spells. I never run out of mana. Sneaky feet. I adore you. Marry me and have my children. You know, after I... Well, I'm already married and having children. But, you know, if I weren't married and having children, I would ask you to marry me and have my babies. You straighten out. You find some copper kopecks on the no longer undead. Wow, I've been playing this game all wrong for years. All right. Now, eventually around the forest, you do meet a couple more interesting characters that do become important. And honestly, I think that uh, the amount of people that you help, I think it is all optional. I think you can pretty much go straight to endgame if you really wanted to and just concentrate on the main story. You feel a chill. 
Oh boy. Oh no 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 stop draining my life. Stop draining my life. Oh man, do you think we have it in us to do uh another wraith? I had two healing potions. I'm not sure how many Uh no, no, not yet. Let's not do another Wraith. Just just this moment. We'll come back and try him another time. Because I really don't want to use all my healing potions. Because I think they are fairly limited in this game. I think I only get like one healing potion a day. And I only have two. Let's keep looking around. Oh, hello. Um, this bush appears to be watching me. Hello. There's something strange about this bush. Maybe it's the eyes? Oh, forget it. It's probably just an ordinary, everyday bush with blood-red berries and tentacle-like branches. Knowing this town, anything with tentacles on it does not surprise me. Oh look, it looks like he's smiling at me. Hey, hello, I'm just your average bush with blood-red berries and lands and tentacle blood branches and stuff. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Let me tell you about the time. <laughs> Let me tell you about the time I met this tree lady. Oh boy! Oh, so oh, sorry. Okay. No one. I can't really talk to him or anything. Um, is he magical? You sense no magic in this area. Uh, I don't really want to. Uh, it's gonna hurt me. But then again, I just felt a zombie, a Chernovi, and like a shitload of wraiths. I can handle anything. Let's go talk to him. Hi. That's not a great idea. The bush would start with the hand you offer it, then eat the rest of you as well. It eats me? Huh. Oh. Um, maybe... Uh... I don't want to... There we go. Oh, God! That hurt. That really hurt. Think of being stung by a ten-foot-long wasp. Oh god, let's get away from it. Go away. Oh no, I've been bitten by a berry bush and you're bound to be buried. Uh, it's actually called a berry bush, B-U-R-Y. That's really clever. Okay. Alright, I figured that wouldn't work. But I do know... You know what? No, I'm not even going to go there just yet. Uh, I'll come back to you, berry bush. Just you wait. You'll get back. I'll get back at you for murdering me and stinging me like a ten-foot wasp. You feel God damn, there's wraiths everywhere. Oh, great. Well, we found the graveyard, you have so... Ah! Ooh. While we're here, I want to take another whack at this. Well, at least I'm going to get some grind skills here. Oh, God, the sun's coming up already. I cannot believe our skill is this low. But we're going to need this, because we got some thieving to do. All right, let's see what that did for our skills. Here we go. Uh, let's see. Pick locks, 223. Don't think that did all that much. I'm going to have to do a lot of uh, off the, out, you know, behind the scenes grinding here at some point. But for now, let's head on back to town. Because now it's light, so it should be slightly less dangerous. And I think... I think the town is over this way... Oh, the leashy! Na, 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 na. Oh, you're so mature. Alright, fine. The bush seems to be just out of your reach. It's beyond my reach! Alright, leashy, come here. Leshy? Aha! Na, 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 na. There's a bird in my head, and you'll never get me. Alright. Aha! Only some more and more places you can hide, Leshy. Coming for your ass! Oh, stop. Stop it. You're really testing my patience. <laughs> Hi there! There he is. Hello, squatty. Three and three and three make nine! Who lives among the watery brine? Ooh, I know the answer to that one. Fishy, squishy riddles make! Tell me now who's in the lake! Well, it would have been me if I didn't give her flowers. You never bring me flowers. Alright, uh, Rizoka. Oh, God! One and two and three make six! Who hides her hut behind trick sticks? Who hides her hut? Magic message! Bush is here! In the rhyme with disappear! Oh... 
no one. I think he just gave us the answer to where we just were. Interesting. Who hides her hut behind trick sticks? The only person I know in this game who has a hut was Baba Yaga. Could it be that Baba Yaga is here in Mordavia? Oh, well, that means there's uh, there's a whole bunch more people we got to talk to. And now we know the magical spell to get rid of the bushes where she is. That's fantastic. All right. So that means next time, uh, it is time for Baba Yaga. And we also get to talk to Skullhead, to Scully, to Murray, whatever you want to call him. He's one of my favorite little guys, and I love his accent. Because he's always like, yo, hey, how you doing there? I'm the Skull. I'm going to got Baba Yaga's stuff and blah, blah, blah. Baba Yaga actually plays a really big role in this game. Hello, everybody, and welcome back. It is time for more of the continuing education of Sneaky Feet, learning how to be a thief. It is the thiefy way. It is what thieves do. Let's get back to business. Now, from what I remember, we just learned the magic words to get rid of that uh, awful bush. We, you know, with the one with the glowing red eyes and the tentacles and the thorns and the killing of the lady. So I think that should be our first destination. Let's get rid of it so we can see what lies beyond the bush. And my health is not looking too great. I hope whatever it is I was doing did not involve anything too brutal. You know what, let's just take a nap here in the middle of a field. After some rest, you feel better. Yes, John Rice Davies, I feel wonderful. I feel hungry. Garlic and avocado, anyone? Uh-oh. I don't have any. I have corn. Eat delicious corn. You nibble some corn. That sounds really dirty the way he says it. I'm a corn nibbler. Now we have to play. You're starving. I just ate corn. Here, ate some more. You nibble. Eat all the corn. Nibba, 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 nibba. You nibble. There we go. That should be enough nibbles to keep him alive. Otherwise, we're going to have to go back to town and stock up on foodstuffs. And of course, even after all that corn nibbling, I know it's going to come to absolutely no fruition. He's going to pass out in the middle of a field because I'm hungry. Uh-oh. Is it bunny time? Yeah. All right. Now, see if I remember how to do this. So, aggressiveness. Bam. Magic use was useful. Useless. All right. This aggressiveness up all the way. Kill. Kill the wabbit. Kill the wabbit. Ow. Okay. This is not going well. Let's turn up the special attack. Or maybe we should sort of balance aggressiveness and defense, maybe? There we go. Fight defensively against the murderous little bunny! He jumps over everything I- oh, and defensiveness, all it does is like move him backwards a little bit. But it seems to be effective. Kind of lulling the bunny into a false sense of security. Drawing the fight out for as long as humanly possible. Kill the fucking rabbit! Kill the rabbit. I, I I have no control of what's going on there. It's like it's like playing Draken, and this bunny is murdering me. Okay, this is pathetic. All right, all right. Uh, defense down, aggressiveness all the way up. Kill the rabbit. Thank you. Defensive playing always known as being a complete waste of time. And I am almost exhausted again. Let's take another rest. After some rest. All right, I'm not starving to death, which is good, I suppose. And this is a dead end. Great. I know if we come here at nighttime, and I can't remember how many I've actually killed already because Sneaky Feet is a buzzsawing badass, how many of these wraith barrows that we've cleared out and gotten rid of. So there's still going to be a lot of exploration moving around. Where else do we have to go? We have the castle to go check out. The castle is huge. The graveyard, the catacombs, and all that kind of stuff. It's, uh, we have a lot left to do, let's be honest. And we gotta help everybody, you know? As much as we are a thief, winning hearts and minds is the King Swayze way. We gotta help everybody in town, because above all things, even beyond being a master thief, we are a hero. And speaking of heroes, let's destroy a harmless little bush. Okay, so I remember that if we talk to it, we say the magic words, it should go away. Tell the bush to grow and prosper. Same magic. Let's introduce myself to the bush. Hello, bush. You provide the area foliage with a long-winded introduction and description of your past exploits. No one else will listen to me. You'd almost swear you heard the trees yawn. But it must just be the wind in the bushes. But my story is so wonderful. I was a prince, for God's sake. Elementals, genies. You're starving. 
You better find some food soon. Jesus Christ, how many more nibbles of corn do you want? Nibble, nibble, nibble. Three skulls and a fountain. Each one seeking happiness. It is a wonder you have managed to live so. Yeah, I'm a little bit better suited to the outdoors than you are, fat boy. Oh, you missed, bro. You missed. Score.